What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to navigate the new drag-and-drop features in Reason 11.2. So we're going to talk about the Red Drum, the Matrix, and the Dr. Octorex player. What we're going to make is going to sound like this. I'm in Ableton Live, and right now I've gotten a slight head start. I got a guitar loop going from the Dr. Octorix. So that part is just like this by itself. I added Echo Boy, some halftime, and uh, the guitar tool rack from Waves, just some chorus from it. Now, here over here, I got the Reason Rack plugin. And I got some drums loaded into this red drum. So I could just start filling it in, you know, really quick. But I want this pattern to be more than 16 steps, so I'm gonna bring this up. I got my hi hat at five. And right now I'm just alternating between holding down command and shift for the different, um, actually, uh, if you hold down option, you'll get the, the low velocity. If you just click it, you'll get normal. And if you hold down shift, you'll get, uh, this red one, which is a louder velocity. So I'm just alternating between that. Right. So just going to finish that off. So much nostalgia because I used to make my drum patterns in the red drum before I moved to the drum sequencer. I had a kick. Open hi hat, whoops, I always grab it on accident. Gonna get rid of it the second and fourth time. Then we got a percussion here. Maybe just keep it simple like that. Now the beauty of this is that we can take this here and drag that MIDI here, and then we can switch up the pattern. So maybe the next one, I might do something different with the hi-hat. So maybe add some more rolls in there. So this could be the second one. So I'll put this here and then we can alternate between these. Now I'm going to turn this off, enable pattern. And we can go back and forth like that. So 
So this drag and drop feature is going to be great for speed for I know a lot of people who told me coming from reason they missed red drum and the sequencer and the speed so you can have that right back now if you want to know how to route these to separate mix channels i'm going to have a video up in the cards and a video in the description and what i would suggest is if you like using the red drum and live logic whatever you're using just save that as a template so you don't have to do that every time and that'll save you super super amounts of speed and you'll be making turbo beats you know what i'm saying all right I have another instance of the Reason Rack plugin, and now I'm going to show you how this would work with the Matrix device. Now, I want to create another melody that is in key with the rest of my beat. My guitar is playing uh, D minor, so I want it to match with that. So I'm going to go into one of my preset banks for Europa and grab a pluck sound. May change this later, but this will work for now. I'm then going to grab a matrix device and utilities, drag that in, going to right click and randomize this pattern. Now if we play it, you notice that it's not in key with the rest of the beat. So how we can fix that is by dragging a scales and chords player on top. And I'm going to turn this off for chords. And so let's set the key to D minor. And we'll still notice the issue when we try to play it. The scales and chords player isn't receiving any MIDI. So the way we fix that is by going back into players. We're going to grab this CV player tap device by Electric Panda. I'm going to put this on top of this device and flip it over to the back. And we're going to take this matrix information and put it into the CV player tap device. I'm gonna randomize this again. That one sounds cool. So now I'm gonna drag this into our clips. And now we got a random melody that actually sounds pretty good. We may change a few things and we're off to the races with incredible ideas. The last thing I would like to show you is some stuff with the Dr. Octorex player. Now I use the Dr. Octorex for the guitar loop that you heard in the very beginning and that you still hear. So I'm going to show you briefly how I did that. I actually did it an arrangement view, which you can see it right here. I rendered it and I made it happen here. Now this part is not a turbo ultra speed workflow process, but I wanted that guitar, so I made it happen. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I did in order to do that. This is the reason rack, right? So. I went into the browser, guitar loops, acoustic strumming guitar, strums 120, minor scales, and this is D minor. So I use this. I'm sure you get the point. Now, in order to do this, for example, we'll create a new audio track. I'm going to solo this. And then we'll grab this reason rack here. Bring it down. That is the wrong one. So we're looking for this one right here. I'm going to solo both of these. Now for how I did this. Now if we're on this first clip right here and I drag it in. It's there, right? But if we try to drag in the second one, click on that, drag here, we'll notice it's only playing the second pattern. Let's go ahead and, and turn this off. Enable loop playback. 
notice they're both the same. In order for me to change this, I had to go through and freeze them one by one. So right here on this track, I would go left click, sorry, right click, freeze track, and then I would hold down option and drag it down to get audio. And I did that with all of the parts I want to, and then I rearranged it in arrangement view. Now, given the drag and drop features that we just got in this update, that's all I wanted to show you. And with those drag and drop features, you could perhaps come up with something like this. So, pretty dope, right? I know. Now, uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that once you drag out this mini clip um, using the matrix, it will not stay in the same key that you set your player to. So you will have to go in and do some manual edits. But aside from that, the ultra fast part of this was the red drum. I missed the red drum in my workflow, and I'm happy to get back to it. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.